and welcome back to another Doctor Who Big Finish video and today's Doctor Who Big Finish video we'll be diving in and taking a look at my Big Finish collection to see how it's grown in a year and safe to say it, it has. We've seen the end of the main range, we've, I've completed a few of the ranges so yeah there's a lot to get through, there's quite a few Big Finish as you've seen from the opening uh, but if you love your Big Finish then please do like and subscribe because there's plenty of Big Finish content on the channel and upcoming in the near future. So without further ado, let's just dive straight in to this Big so Finish since my last video. Big Finish collection video, we've seen the end of the monthly range. So this is a complete monthly range collection. So we start off with the first Big Finish Doctor story, The Sirens of Time. We have Phantasmagoria there, Fifth Doctor and Turlo story. The Whispers of Terror utilises the audio format very well. We have The Land of the Dead. Then we have The Fearmonger, one of my personal favourite Seventh Doctor adventures because it's, it's very Pertwee-esque and I do love me some Third Doctor. The Marin Conspiracy, the Colin Baker, Sip Doctor Master Plan story, what kickstarts the redemption of the Sip Doctor, and introduces us to Evelyn Smythe, one of the best original Big Finish companions. The Genocide Machine, the first Dalek story. Red Dawn, the Spectre of Lanyon Moor, great story that is with the Sip Doctor and Brigadier. Winter for the Adept, the Apocalypse Element, great sort of Sip Doctor Time War adventure signed by Lala Ward. Fires of Vulcan, I love this one, it is very much the Seventh Doctor's Fires of Pompeii, and I love it, great story. Shadow of the Scourge, the Holy Terror, part of the sort of holy trinity of monthly range stories for Big Finish, wonderful adventure. The Mutant Phase, the first Paul McGann adventure, Storm Warning, great little introduction, very sort of what if Doctor was on in the 90s. The first Cyberman Big Finish story, Sword of Orion, again, I have a bit of a soft spot for that one. Stones of Venice, we have Minuet in Hell, um, quite a bizarre story, but again, Bit of a soft spot for it. We have Lou Guru, a Fifth Doctor werewolf story, so I do like that one. Dust Breeding, very atmospheric cover. Blood Tide, one of my first big finish stories, love it. Then we have Project Twilight, great story, one of my favourites. I have the Scorpion, introduce us to a Fifth Doctor original companion, Eremim. And then we have Cold It. We have Primeval, not the ITV show, but a very good one. Do you like that one? Underrated. The One Doctor, the Invaders from Mars. The Chimes Midnight, one of the classic Big Finish adventures. The Seasons of Fear, one of my favourites. Then we have Embrace the Darkness. Time of the Daleks, where we have the Daleks quoting Shakespeare. We have Neverland. Spare Parts, very good story. Do love that one. Then we have Ish, the Rapture, the Sandman, the Church and the Crown, Bang Bang A Boom, Jubilee. Again, I'm going to say the obligatory. It was the inspiration for Dalek. Then we have uh, Necromancy, one of the weirdest big finish stories out there. The Dark Flame, Doctor and the Pirates, Doctor Who does a musical. We have Creatures from Beauty, which is told an, in a sort of a non-linear way. So like part three is part one. It, it's, it's sort of like that. Then we have a continuation of the Project series with Project Lazarus. Then we have Flip Flop, what you can listen to in either order. Then we have the Villains Trilogy with Omega. Probably the weakest of the Villains Trilogy. Davros, wonderful story. Then we have my favourite from that Villains Trilogy, which is Master. Then we have Zagreus. Some say if you listen to it, your brain becomes soup. And of course, the first 50 monthly range stories are on Spotify, so you can check all these out. The Wormery with the Sick Doctor and Iris Wild Time. Shirzo by Rob Sherman starts the Divergent arc and very abstract and a great character piece for the Eighth Doctor and Charlie's relationship and has a few little jump scares within there, which is always good. Creed of a Croman introduces us to Keris. Natural History of Fear. The Twilight Kingdom. The Axis of Insanity, Arrangements for War, a great continuation from Project uh, Project Lazarus, The Harvest introduces us to Hex, Roof of the World, Medicinal Purposes, we have The Faith Stealer, The Last, uh, Care Droya, then the last story in the Divergent arc which is The Next Life which is a six-parter, then we have a little interesting six-parter which is The Game which is basically 15 minutes each episode, The Juggernaut, wonderful story, Dreamtime, Catch1782, Freezer Crowd, Unregenerate, one of my uh, guilty pleasures I guess, The Council of Nicaea, great historical adventure, Terra Firma, we see the Eighth Doctor back in our universe battling Davros, which is a really good story, Thicker Than Water, Life 34, great experimental release done as a news broadcast, Scaredy Cat, the shortest big finish monthly range story, and then we have Singularity. Other Lives, a great historical adventure. Peer Pressure, 
Night Fort is a quintessential 7th Doctor story, do love that one. Time Works, again, love it. Kingmaker, wonderfully funny, great story. The Settling, Something Inside, The Nowhere Place, Red, The Reaping, The Gathering, quite a bleak story for good old Tegan Javenka. Then you have Memory Lane, No Man's Land, Year of the Pig, the first Big Finish anthology, Circular Time, Nocturne, Renaissance of the Daleks, ID, Exotron, Valhalla, The Wishing Beast, Frozen Time, and no guess what monster features within that one, Son of the Dragon, great story, 100, then we have Absolution, The Mind's Eye, The Girl Who Never Was, The Bride of Peladon, The Condemned, The Start of the Sick Doctor and Charlie Arc, The Dark Husband, The Haunting of Thomas Brewster, Assassin in the Limelight, Death collectors, the boy that time forgot, the doomwood curse, the kingdom of silver, time reef, brotherhood of the Daleks, 45 of that there, Benedict Cumberbatch, then we have the rain cloud man, the start of the key to time sort of series, well key to time 2, the judgment of Iskar, the destroyer's delight and the chaos pool which of course you know this trilogy introduces us to the graceless twins and then we have the magic mousetrap, enemy of the Daleks, great Dalek story, the Angel of Skatari starts the black and white TARDIS arc, then the Company of Friends, and then we have Patient Zero. We have Paper Cut, Blue Forgotten Planet, Castle of Fear, part of the Stockbridge trilogy, absolutely love this trilogy, which contains the Eternal Summer and Plague of the Daleks. Then we have another great trilogy, the Klein trilogy, Thousand Tiny Wings, great Seven Doctor story. Then we have Survival of the Fittest and the Architects of History. Again, one of my favourite trilogies of the City of Spires, the Sick Doctor and Jamie trilogy. We have Wreck of Titan, and then we have Legend of the Cybermen. Then we have Cobwebs, then we have The Whispering Forest, The Cradle of the Snake, Return of the Mara, Project Destiny, A Death in the Family, very good Seventh Doctor story that is, um, but of course it links heavily into previous Big Finish stories, Lurks at Sunlight Edge, uh, The Demons of Red Lodge and Other Stories, The Crime of Thomas Brewster, The Feast of Axos, great story, Industrial Evolution, Heroes of Sontar, Rat Trap, then we have A Kiss of Death, and then we have Recorded Time and Other Stories. We have the Doomsday Quatrain, we have the House of a Blue Fire, Robophobia, then we have the Silver Turk, a fantastic story, love that one. Witch from the Well, the Army of Death, great story as well, and another great story, Curse of Davros, then we have the Fourth Wall, then we have Wirren Isle, great story again, then we have the Emerald Tiger, the Jupiter Conjunction, the Butcher of Brisbane, Protect and Survive, Black and White, Gods and Monsters, the Burning Prince, great story again, the Akron Pulse, Shadow Heart, and A Thousand One Nights, and The Wrong Doctor, featuring two versions of the Sick Doctor. Hopefully Big Finish can do a 12th Doctor version. The Spaceport of Fear, The Seeds of War, Aldrad Must Die, great story. Lady of Mercia, fun historical adventure. Then we have Prisoners of Fate, Suasion, love that one. Starlight Robbery, Daleks Among Us, the 1963 trilogy, now fanfare for the common run. Great list and that one is. The Space Race. The Assassination Games with the Countermeasures team, Afterlife, great story for the Seventh Doctor, has one of his best moments in, Antidote to Oblivion, we have the Broad of Eris signed by Lisa Greenwood, uh, Scavenger, Moonflesh, Tombship, Masquerade, Breaking Bubbles and Other Stories, Revenge of the Swarm, Mask of Tragedy, Signs and Wonders, The Widow's Assassin, Masters of Earth, one of my favourite Sick Doctor stories. And of course we have the Rani Elite. We have the start of the E-Space trilogy, Mistfall, Equilibrium and the Entropy Plague, great trilogy. The Defectors, the Locum Doctor trilogy now, so we have Last of the Cybermen and the Secrets of History. We have a Daleks, great story for beginners. Then we have the Warehouse, great story, Terror of the Sontarans. Criss Cross, where we see Constance Clark introduced to the Doctor's world. Planet of the Rani, Shield of the Jockton. You are the Doctor and other stories, so we've got a great sort of Decide Your Destiny audio there. The Wars of Amsterdam, Aquitaine, fantastic adventure, and a wonderful pure historical in the form of the People Who Massacre, And You Will Obey Me, Vampire of the Mind, The Two Masters, A Life of Crime, The Fiesta of the Damned, The Maker of Demons, uh, Memory Bank and other stories, and we do have the wonderful Order of the Daleks. We have Absolute Power, Quicksilver, The Starmen, The Contingency Club, Zoltis, Alien Heart and Dalek Soul, Vortex Ice and Cortex Fire, then you have Shadow Planet and World Apart, The High Price of Parking, The Blood Furnace, The Silurian Candidate, 
Timing Office, great one, love that one. The Behemoth, the middle, wonderful story. Then we have Static, Kingdom of Lies, Ghost Walk, brilliant, love that one. The Serpent in the Silver Mask, the Heliax Riff, the Lure of the Nomad. Then we have Iron Bright, another good story. Hour of the Sidemen, fantastic story there. Then we have Red Planet, the Dispossessed, the Quantum Possibility Engine, Warlock's Cross, and then we have the Muse of Fire. Then we have Hunting Ground, the Devil in the Mist, Black Thursday and Power Game, Chameleon Empire, the Monsters of Gokroth, the Moons of Volpana, an Alien Werewolf in London, Memories of a Tyrant, Emissary of the Daleks, Harry Houdini's War, Tartarus, which is a fantastic story, love the Mark stuff, what Big Finish do, Interstitial and Feast of Fear, Warzone and Conversion, Blood on Santa's Claw, Dark Universe, The Psychic Circus, Subterfuge, Cry of the Vultures, wonderful story, and again, Scorched Earth, great story, the Lovecraft Invasion, Time Apart, we have Fin Time and Madquake, The Flying Dutchman and Displaced, Shadow of the Daleks 1 and Shadow of the Daleks 2. Then we have Flight of the Pimpernel, great story, love that one. Then again, the Grey Man on the Mountain, great story. Then Colony of Fear, the Blazing Hour, wonderful story. And then the final main range story, the end of the beginning. Since my last Big Finish collection video, I've decided to rearrange a bit of the collection to coincide with the new box set format for 2022. So I've started to put a few things in Doctor order so it can sort of flow into one another. Um, so we've got the David Bradley Adventures Volume 1, which contains a great pure historical, The Great White Hurricane. Then we have Volume 2 with The Great Invention of Death. Then we have Volume 3. Volume 4, which is probably my favourite of the David Bradley Adventure box sets. And we have the recent one, Volume 5. Then we've got no second Doctor at the minute, but uh, Beyond the War games will slot in between these releases. So we have the third Doctor Adventures of Volume 1. Third Doctor Adventures Volume 2, The Great Transcendence of Ephros. Uh, volume 3 there of the Third Doctor Adventures Volume 4 with a great sort of Cyberman story there, Tyrant of Logic. And then Volume 5, which has a great story, Primord, sequel to Inferno. Wonderful stuff. Then you have Volume 6, which again, great series. And then probably my favourite of the Third Doctor Adventures so far, which is Volume 7. We were going to Tom Baker. Yes, with Tom Baker 80. Great two hour interview with just Tom Baker talking. What more do you want from a big finish release? Then we have the Destination Nerva, great opening to the 4th Doctor Adventures, uh, the Renaissance Man, then we have Wrath of the Icena, great 4th Doctor Adventure, that is with a good story for Leela, Energy of the Daleks, wonderful release, that was my first 4th Doctor Adventure I listened to and it got me hooked. Uh, Trail of the White Worm, the Asiden Adventure, then we have Series 2, the Antimatter, which is probably my favourite of the 4th Doctor series, I just have a soft spot for it because of Romana 1. Sands of Life, great free part 4th Doctor Adventure, the only free part 4th Doctor Adventure actually in the 4th Doctor Adventure range. All Against Vatlan is a continuation from the Sands of Life and a, a good one as well. Just of the Chalksar, great Jay Gwen like for the story with the 4th Doctor and Romana. Phantoms of the Deep, good one that is. And then we have the Dalek contract with good old K9 fighting the Daleks in the final phase into a concluding half of that story. King of Sontar, good story. Then we have the White Ghosts. The Crooked Man, signed by Louise Jameson. We have Last of the Colophon, good story that is, quite underrated. Then we have Destroy the Infinite with the Fourth Doctor battling the Eminence, the Abandoned, Zygon Hunt, the Exelons, and Darkness of Glass, very Philip Hinchcliffe style story that is. Requiem for the Rocket Men, great Fourth Doctor story, do love that one. Then we have Death Match, Suburban Hell, the Cloister of the Terror, great sort of opening first part, but then it sadly does lose its way in the second half. Fate of Krellos, which continues in Return to Telos. I do have a soft spot for that one. Wave of Destruction, good release. And then this is another classic, Labyrinth of Buddha Castle. Do love that one. The Paradox Planet and the Legacy of Death is a good sort of four-part Douglas Adams style story. Gallery of Ghouls, Trouble with Drax. Really good fourth Doctor adventure. Really good one. Then we have the Pursuit of History. And then the Casualties of Time. Then we have the Beast of Kravenos, a good story again. The Eternal Battle, a wonderful Sontaran story. And then a great one is the Silent Scream. Then Death Rass, very Season 18 style story that is. Then we have the Haunting of Malk in Place. And then we have Subterranea, the Mavellan Grave. Then we have Skin of the Sleek and the Thief Who Stole Time. 
Then we have Series 7 of the Four Foot Adventures Volume 1, which has a good story called The Crow Marsh Experiment, but I will say overall, the Four Foot Adventures Volume 7 is probably my least favourite of the Four Foot Adventures. And then we have Volume 8, which again is probably my second favourite from the range. I do love um, Series 8, so we've got Series 8 uh, Volume 2. Then we have Series 9, where we see the return of the Fourth Doctor and Adric K9 in Romana. Um, pretty solid season, in my opinion. Then we have the Fourth Doctor Series 9 Volume 2. And then we have the most recent Fourth Doctor series, which is Series 10 Volume 1 and Series 10 Volume 2. Then we have the Comic Strip Adaptations Volume 1, which I think is a really good box set, very underrated. Then we have the Lockdown Special, Shadow of the Sun. Then we have Philippinsk of Presents with the Ghosts of Graustead and Devil's Armada. Good box set, do enjoy that one. Then we have the Genesis Chamber and the Helm of War. I am waiting for the recent Philippinsk of release, which is the God of Phantoms. Then we have a good old Fifth Doctor box set. Wonderful box set, highly recommend this. Very authentic to the Fifth Doctor era. And I guess a bit of a prototype for the new Big Finish format with the Doctors being put into box sets. Then we have Wicked Sisters, which I think is quite a good box set. Then we have the Sixth Doctor and Parry, Volume 1. And then we have the Seventh Doctor, New Adventures set, uh, Volume 1, which I think is a really good box set. Do you recommend that one? Really good stories in that one. Moving on to the Eighth Doctor, we have Blood of the Daleks with Lucy, Bleeding Miller. Um, if you want to get into Big Finish, then I'd say Blood of the Daleks is a perfect jumping on point to Blood of the Daleks Part 2. Then we have Horror of Glam Rock, Phobos, Human Resources Part 1 and Part 2. Then we have the Further Adventures of Lucy Miller. Again, good box set. Love the Fendal story within that. Dead London. Then we have Doctor Who's Top Gear spoof, which I, I do like. And we have Brave New Town, Skull of Sobek, Grand Theft Cosmos, The Zygon Who Fell to Earth, Sisters of the Flame, Vengeance of Morbius, Orbis, Hot House, The Beast of All, quite an underrated one that is. And then we have We're in Dawn. Then we have Scapegoat. Then we have the Cannibalists. Then we have the Eight Truths. No guess what uh, monster returns within that one. And then we have the World Wide Web. Then we have An Earthly Child. We have a Death in Blackpool. Situation Vacant. Nevermore. Quite an underrated one actually. Did enjoy that one. Book of Kells. Demos. And Resurrection of Mars. Great Ice Warrior story that is. Relative Dimensions. Prisoners of the Sun. Lucy Miller. And to the death. Wonderful, wonderful and heartbreaking um, stories they are. Then we have Dark Eyes, wonderful box set. Dark Eyes 2, Dark Eyes 3, and of course, Dark Eyes 4. Moving on to the next Saga of Ape Doctor box set, we have Doom Coalition with the Great Eleven introduced and the Red Lady Fantastic Story. Doom Coalition 2, probably my least favourite Big Finish box set, um, and probably Big Finish release in general actually. And then we have Doom Coalition 3, probably my favourite of the Doom Coalition Saga and Doom Coalition 4. I've been meaning to revisit Doom Coalition um, but I just haven't had a chance because of so much big finish being released recently. Then we have Ravenous 1 and my favourite box set from Ravenous, Ravenous 2 which has a fantastic Christmas special there and a wonderful Vok robot story. Then you have Ravenous 3 uh, with a great story called Companion Piece and then Ravenous 4 which is a great conclusion to the Ravenous series. Then we have Stranded Volume 1, a great sort of refreshing box for the 8th Doctor there. Then we have Stranded 2, very good box again with a great story called Unit Dating. Then we have the Time Lord Victorious Audios, He Kills Me, He Kills Me Not, The Enemy of My Enemy, and then we have Mutually Assured Destruction, and Genetics of the Daleks. Then we have Susan's War, which I randomly put there to sort of kickstart the Time War stuff. And then we have the 8th Doctor Time War Volume 1, Eighth Doctor Time War Volume 2, which has a wonderful story called uh, Doctor Ogron, um, Planet of the Ogrons. Wonderful story, probably my favourite from that set. Then we have the War Valyard in Volume 3, great story. And then probably my favourite Eighth Doctor Time War box set, which is a Volume 4 with the wonderful Palindrome. Wonderful story. Moving on, we have The War Doctor Begins, Forged in Fire. This is a wonderful box that has a post-regeneration story for the War Doctor, so I highly recommend it. And of course we've got Shadow Squad, which is a wonderful Time War story. Then we have the John Hurt War Doctor stuff, which is kickstarts with only the monstrous good box set. Did love that one when I revisited that one recently. Infernal Device is probably my favourite of the War Doctor sets. And then we have Agents of Chaos. And the last John Hurt box set, which is Casualties of War. Then rather excitingly, we have Christopher Eccleston, the Ninth Doctor in Ravages. Very good box set, sort of a nice piece of big finish history. But I would say if you were to get one of the Ninth Doctor box sets so far out of these two, I would say Respond to All Calls is probably your safe bet. I think that is a really good box set. 
three great standalone adventures and Guild Deconstructed is pure 2005 Doctor Who. This is a great set of Ninth Doctor stories. Then we have the Tenth Doctor and River Song. Wonderful box set. Expiry dating is probably the, the highlight of this box set for me. Then we have the start of Dalek Universe with the Dalek Protocol. And then we have Dalek Universe 1 and Dalek Universe 2. This is becoming one of my favourite Big Finish ranges and it's a wonderful set of Tenth Doctor adventures. Something I wanted Big Finish to do with the Tenth Doctor for a long time to put him in a an ongoing series and yeah it's definitely delivering and I can't wait for volume 3. Then we have Out of Time which I think if you want to get into Big Finish then this is a perfect jumping on point. Very nice simple story and beautiful character interaction between the 4th and 10th Doctor. Then we have Out of Time 2, Gates of Hell which again great story. I think there's more of a story within this compared to Out of Time um, but yeah great story, great character interactions and we have Classic Doctor's New Monsters Volume 1. Great way to introduce people to Big Finish, and of course, Classic Doctor's New Monsters of Volume 2 with a Vash Narada. Great story with the fourth Doctor in this one. Then we have the Lost Stories, which is essentially the missing season 23 with the Nightmare Fair, Mission to Magnus, Leviathan, which I think is quite a good story, Hollows of Time, Paradise 5, and then probably my favourite of the series, which is the Point of Entry. Then we have Song of Magatra, uh, the Macross, which I think is quite underrated. Then we have the first Doctor box set, which I really love. It has Farewell Great Macedon, which is a wonderful first Doctor story. Then we have the second Doctor box set there. Then we have the Lost Season 27 with Thin Ice, Crime of the Century, Animal, which is probably my favourite of the bunch. And then we have Earth Aid. Then one of my favourite Lost stories, the Elite, wonderful fifth Doctor story. Really do recommend that one. Then we have Hexagoria and the Children of Seth. Then we have the Guardians of Prophecy, which is probably my, one of my favourite early adventures. Good story that is. Power Play, sadly, it's a little bit of a bit of an average one for me, that one. Then we have the first Sontarans, what uh, got replaced by the two Doctors. Again, good story. Masters of Luxor. And then we have the Rose Mariners, which is pretty good. Then we have the Dark Planet, the Queen of Time, the Lords of the Red Planet, the Genesis of the Ice Warriors. Really do love that one. Um, I should review that one at some point. And then we have my favourite lost story, my favourite big finish story of all time, the Mega Quintessential Third Doctor. And then we have the Fourth Doctor box set, which is great with the Foe from the Future, which is probably one of my favourite Fourth Doctor adventures. Then we have Valley of Death, which is a nice little precursor to the Philip Hinchcliffe Presents. Then we have the Nightmare Country, which is the first time Big Finish have used the Season 21 TARDIS crew, um, which is a really good story. did enjoy that one. Then we have the Ultimate Evil, which finishes Season 23 of The Lost Stories. And then we have Return of the Cybermen, which I have a real soft spot for. Really do love that one. And then we have the wonderful Doomsday Contract. Then we have the special and bonus releases, so that kick starts with Real Time. Then we have Her Final Flight. Then we have Return of the Dalek, which ties into a Dalek Empire. Then we have Cryptobias, Return of the Web Planet. I had a lot of fun with that. Fifth Doctor riding a Zarbi called Barbara. Love it. It's a lot of fun. Return of the Crotons. Then we have the subscriber exclusive, the Four Doctors. And probably the better of the subscriber exclusives, the Five Companions, which sort of links into the Five Doctors, which is a lot of fun. Then we have Night of the Stormcrow. Good little story that is. Then we have Trial of the Valyard. Again, really nice story. Then we have Cuddlesome and the Doctor Adventures of the Mutant Phase. Moving on to one of my favourite ranges, the Companion Chronicles, which I've now completed, which is wonderful. So we've got Frostfire, Fear of the Daleks, the Bluetooth, which is a wonderful one. Then we have the Beautiful People, Mother Russia. Then we have Helican Prime, Old Soldiers, good story for the Brigadier Valleys. Then we have the Catalyst. Then we have Here There Be Monsters, the Great Space Elevator, the Doll of Death, Empathy Games, Home Truths, which is a wonderful story and starts the Sarah Kingdom trilogy, The Darkening Eye, The Transit of Venus, then we have The Prisoner's Dilemma, which ties into the Key to Time 2, then we have Resistance, The Magician's Oath, and the pilot episode for the Jagon Lightfoot series, which is one of the best companion chronicles and the most sold uh, companion chronicle, The Mahogany Murders, which is wonderful, love that one. We have the Steelers of Safe, the Drowned World, which is a continuation of the Sarah Kingdom trilogy, the Glorious Revolution, the Prisoners of Paladin. Be interesting to have that compares to the upcoming Paladin box set. Then we have the Perilous Effect, the Ringpool World, the Criminal Code, the Suffering, which is a four-part companion chronicle, the Emperor of Eternity, the Shadow of the Past, the Time Vampire, 
Night Black Agent, which ties into the Sixth Doctor and Old Jamie trilogy. Solitaire, Fantastic Companion Chronicle. The Guardian of the Solar Systems, which concluding part of the um, Sarah Kingdom trilogy. Echoes of Grey, which start kickstarts or Zoe getting her memories back. Find and Replace, that's a wonderful one. Then we have A Town Called Fortune. The Invasion of E-Space. And then we have Quinnis, which was referenced in The Edge of Destruction. Then we have Perry and the Piscon Paradox, which is one of the best companion chronicles, a wonderful one. The Perpetual Bond, which kickstarts the Oliver Harper trilogy. I don't know why I prefer the Sarah Kingdom one or the Oliver Harper trilogy. Forbidden Time, The Sentinels of a New Dawn, Feral's Folly, Cold Equations, the second part of the Oliver Harper trilogy. Tales from the Vault, a good companion chronicle because you get a fair few companions in it. Rocket Men, wonderful one. Then we have The Memory Cheat, The Many Deaths of Joe Grant, which is brilliant. And then the concluding part of the Oliver Harper trilogy there, the first wave, great one. And then, not so good one, Beyond the Ultimate Adventure, the Anachronauts, again this is a four part companion chronicle. Then we have the Salation Gambit, Binary, the Wanderer, the Jigsaw War, that is a really good one. And then we have the Rings of Ikea, the Time Museum, the Uncertainty Principle, and we have Project Nirvana which ties into the Black and White TARDIS arc. And then we have the last post which is probably my favourite companion chronicle, real love letter to season 7 of Doctor Who. Then we have Return of the Rocket Men with the Child. Flame of Cadiz, this is a good little pure historical and is a four part companion chronicle. The House of Cards, the Scorchies, that is a lot of fun. Um, and you, it gets a song stuck in your head, Joe making a thing, gets stuck in your head and uh, yeah. Uh, the Library of Alexandria, the Apocalypse Mirror, the Council of War. Mastermind, The Alchemists, Upstairs, Ghost of the Machine, that's a really good one. The Beginning, The Dying Light and Luna Romana, those three stories are all part of the Quadro Gastoin trilogy and this is a four part companion chronicle. Then we have The Sleeping City, Starborn, The War to End All Wars which is a really good one, The Elixir of Doom and then we have Second Chances. Then we have the companion chronicle, The Specials, The First Doctor Adventures Volume 1, the Second Doctor Adventures Volume 1 and the First Doctor Adventures Volume 2 which is probably my favourite of the Companion Chronicle box sets then we have the Second Doctor Volume 2 and the First Doctor Volume 3 and then we have the Eleventh Doctor Chronicles and then we have the Twelfth Doctor Chronicles which is a very good box set one of the surprising releases from uh, 2020 we for have me. the Early Adventures so that kick starts with the Domain of the Vord wonderful one of the best Vord stories Big Finish have done The Doctor's Tale very good Winter's Listen that is Bounty of Sirius an Ordinary Life, The Yes Men, that's a fantastic one, love that one. The Forsaken, really good story. The Black Hole, The Ice Horse Network, again, did enjoy that one. The Age of Endurance, The Fifth Traveller, The Ravelli Conspiracy, that is a wonderful pure historical, then one of my favourite early adventures, The Sontarans. The Night Witches, a really good story for Polly and is just a really good historical. The Outliers, tremendous one, probably the best of Series 4. Then we have the Morton Legacy, the Wreck of the World, again, really good story for Zoe, um, really explore Zoe. Then we have the Dalek Occupation of Winter, wonderful 60s Dalek story, one of the best, an ideal world. Entanglement, Crash of UK 210, which is a wonderful story for Vicky. Then we have Home Guard and the wonderful What If Doctor Who had a five year anniversary Daughter of the Gods, really good story this one. We have some Doctor Who short trips, we have Volume 1, Volume 2, and volume 3. I really do like the covers for these and we have volume 4 as well. Then we have the toy, the Doctor Unbound range. We have Ord Mortality, Sympathy for the Devil, Full Fathom 5, The Jester Scars, Deadline, Exile, Storm of Angels and Masters of War. Next up we have the novel adaption. So that kick starts with Love and War introducing us to Bernie Summerfield, The Highest Science, Theatre of War, all Consuming Fire, Nightshade which is a really good one, then Original Sin which is a really good one as well and then Cold Fusion, love that one. Then we have The New Adventures of Bernie Summerfield Volume 1 and then Volume 2 The Triumph of Sutek. Then Volume 3 The Unbound Universe which I love, I do enjoy that one. Then Volume 4 which is a Ruler of the Universe which is probably my favourite of the New Adventures of Bernie Summerfield box sets. Then Volume 5 and of course we do have 
Volume 6, which is one of my favourite releases from last year. Really good set, that Continuing was. with Bernie Summerfield, we have Oh No It Isn't, which is basically the first ever Big Finish CD, so it's a bit of Big Finish history. It's basically Big Finish as a pantomime, so we have Beyond the Sun, uh, Walking to Babylon, part of the Time Ring series, I believe, um, Birthright, Just War, and then we have the Dragon's Wrath, and then we have Series 4, which is the Bellatron Incident, the Draconian's Rage, which ties into the Dark Flame, the Poison Seas, no guess why I bought that, because hey, Sea Devils, because I do love me the Sea Devils. And then we have Death and the Daleks, and then we have the Relics of Jexal, which basically makes a Doctor Jigsaw canon. So there we go. <laughs> then we have Sarah Jane Smith, Come Back, the Teo Connection, Ghost Town, the Test of Nerve. We have Mirror Signal Maneuver, Buried Secrets, Snowblind, Fatal Consequences, then we have Dreamland, and then we have the Sideman series with Scorpius, which is a wonderful opening to that series. Part 2, Fear, Conversion, and then we have Telos, and then the wonderful Sideman 2. Great box set. Moving on to Gallifrey with Weapon of Choice, Square 1, The Inquiry, A Blind Eye, then we have Lies, then we have Spirit, Pandora, The Insurgents, Imperiatric, then we have Fractures, then we have Warfare, then we have Appropriation, Mind Bomb, and Panacea. Then we have a Series 4 of Gallifrey, and Series 5, and of course we have a Series 6 there. And then we have Intervention Earth, Enemy Lines, and we do have the first volume of Gallifrey Time War. Then we have Master, which was a surprisingly good box of Eric Roberts, one of his best performances on Big Finish. Then we have the wonderful War Master series. Now, if you want to get into a Big Finish spin-off, this is the one. This is a wonderful spin-off. Only the good, still one of my favourite Big Finish box sets. Master Callus, again, wonderful stuff. Rage of the Time was probably the weakest of the War Master set, but that's not saying much because it's still a wonderful box set. Then Anti-Genesis, which is tremendous fun. Love that one. And then we have the Hearts of Darkness. I'm just waiting for Killing Time to arrive in the post. Then we'll have the complete War Master set so far. Diary of River Song, Volume 1. Series 3 of River Song, which is probably my favourite of the Diary of River Song stuff. Wonderful set. And then we have a Series 4 with the 4th Doctor. And then Series 5 with all the Masters and Missy, which is great. And then we have a Series 6 there. Then we have a Series 7 of River Song with a great Weeping Angel story. Then we have Series 8, which has a nice little tie-in story to Dalek Universe. And then we've got a nice little cameo within that, which I'm not going to spoil. Then we have Jenny, Don and Noble Kidnapped, which is a lot of fun. Dimension Canon, which is a pretty good series. And then Paternoster Gang 4, which I basically got for, you know, Jago. And then we have the 8th of March and Volume 1 of The Robots. Then we have a Dalek Empire with Invasion of the Daleks. Then we have The Human Factor, Death to the Daleks. Project Infinity, then we have a Dalek War 1, Dalek War 2, Dalek War 3, and of course Dalek War 4. Then we have Dalek Empire 3 with the Exterminators, the Healers, the Survivors, the Demons, the Warriors, the Future, then Dalek Empire 4 with Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, and Part 4. Then we have Idavros with Innocence, Purity, Corruption and then we have unit with time heals uh, Snakehead The longest night the wasting Unit Dominion then we have the new series unit with unit silenced Unit assembled and then unit cyber reality and unit revisitations and then we have unit incursions we have the conspiracy We have the last beacon Knight of the Vendal, which is a fantastic torture release, do love that one. The Green Life, again, really did enjoy that one. Sync, which is a nice little prequel to Boomtown. Then we have Sagasso, Serenity, The Hope, which is quite a depressing one. Then we have Smashed, Dissected, which was a lot of fun having Martha in Torture. Then we have Tropical Beach Sounds and other relaxing soundscapes for, which is a wonderful torture release, a really good experimental one. Save Our Souls, Free Monkeys, the Torchwood Archive, then we have Torchwood Believe, uh, Torchwood Outbreak, then we have The Aliens Among Us 1, Aliens Among Us 2, and Aliens Among Us 3. We have Torchwood Soho Parasite, The Lives of Captain Jack Volume 1, Volume 2, and of course Volume 3. 
We have the three stage plays, we have the ultimate adventure, the seven keys to doomsday, and of course we have curse of the Daleks. Moving on to my favourite big finish spin-off, Jigo and Lightfoot, we've got series one, series two which is probably one of my favourites if not my favourite, then we have series three with Leela, then we have series four, then we have the voyage story, so voyage to Venus and voyage to the new world. Then I think, I, I say series 2 is my favourite, but then I remember series 5, and that is a wonderful series seeing Jay Gunn Lightfoot in the swinging 60s. Then we have a series 6 where we see Jay Gunn Lightfoot work for Queen Victoria, and series 7. We have a series 8, series 9 where we see Jay Gunn Lightfoot go for a cheeky holiday. Jay Gunn Lightfoot and Strax for Haunting, that is a really good feel good audio. It's a one more, it has a lot of laughs in it, it's a good little funny listen. Series 10, then we have a series 11 with the Master. Series 12, which is one of my favourite Jay Gunn Lightfoot box sets, a wonderful set. Then we have Series 13, paying homage to the 40th anniversary of the talented Wang Chang and Jay Gunn Lightfoot. Jay Gunn Lightfoot Forever, which is a really lovely concluding way to end the range. And then we have the wonderful Benjamin Baxter interview, which is a great set of uh, interviews by Christopher Benjamin and Trevor Baxter. Next up we have the limited edition Big Finish releases, so we have Light at the End which is the 50th anniversary special which is a good box set then we have the worlds of Doctor Who celebrating all the various Doctor Who spin-offs then we have the novel adaption to volume 1 containing the romance of crime and the English way of death very good set but my personal favorite of the novel adaption limited edition ones is Damaged Goods and the Well-Mannered War very good box set the sixth Doctor last adventure the 10th Doctor Adventures volume 1 which I thought was a really good set actually looking back on it and then we have volume 2 there, which I think is pretty good. Got two very good stories, and Cold Vengeance I'm not too struck on. And probably my favourite of the Temp Dog Adventures, volume 3 with the No Place, um, One Mile Down, and The Creeping Death. All brilliant stories. Then we have Big Finish's 20th anniversary celebrating them having the Doctor Who license for Legacy of Time, and the 50th anniversary celebration of the Master in Masterful. So those are the limited edition Big Finish special releases. And the final big finish things I'm going to show you are my big finish vinyl collection. So we've got Spare Parts, Infamy of the Zaros, The Creeping Death. Then we have Fanfare for the Common Men. Then we have Time Lord Victorious, Echoes of Extinction. And the Ninth Doctor Adventures, Ravagers. We have Death and the Queen, Wave of Destruction, Zygon Hunt, Max Warp, Energy of the Daleks, the first big finish vinyl I bought. Then we have Cold Vengeance. So there we have it, that is my big finish collection for 2021. So thank you very much for watching, and if you've enjoyed it, then please do like and subscribe because it really does help the channel out. And I'll see you next time for more Doctor Rated content. So thank you very much and bye bye.